10.5b, solving equations by factoring, solve by factoring. If there is an x squared and x in the, in the equation, we need to factor before we solve. So what that means here in example one is that we're going to factor this polynomial because we do have x squared and an x in here. So I'm going to put my two parentheses and it's equal to zero. Well my coefficient of my x squared term is one so I get to put that in for free. And then we're looking at factors of 12 that when we take the difference give us four. Well that would be six and two. We want a negative four so we want a negative six that means we have a positive two. So now we set each one of those factors equal to zero. So we have x minus six equal to zero, x plus two equal to zero. Solve your equations. And x equals six. Do the same for our other equation and we get x is equal to negative two. I want to point out something really quick here. Our exponent here indicates how many solutions we have. If we have one solution, or if we have one, an exponent of one, we have one solution. Two exponents, two solutions. If it has, I said exponents, but I mean if we have a two for our exponent. If we have a three for our exponent, we're going to have three solutions. So let's take a look at this second example. So let's see, I want go ahead and put in my boxes. This tells me I'm going to take the difference. Only one way of factoring 3x. Now because I do want a difference of 1 and I notice that 3 and 4 when I take the difference between them it's going to give me 1. That means I want to have my 3 and 4 in the same box so I don't multiply them. We're going to use 4 and 1 here. And we want to have a positive x, so that means my 4 needs to be positive and my 3 needs to be negative. Okay, we set each one of those factors equal to 0. And then we solve. So x equals negative four-thirds for the one. And then we'll add one over here. So x equals one for the other. And I have my two solutions.